This video is for Math Pace 1095. We're almost done. One more pace after this and you're done with level eight of math, the pre-algebra course. Uh, this one is kind of an interesting one. Does some things with uh, numbers, uh, not just numbers, money, all right? And uh, sales, uh, discounts, uh, markup, and figuring out interest, all right? If you put money in a savings account, how much interest would you earn? That kind of a thing. Um, I do want to point out that um, I did a fairly thorough set of videos back on page 1079. So that was back at the seventh level, but uh, some tips for how to solve decimal and percent problems. So I'm not gonna reteach those concepts right now, um, but I do encourage you to go back and watch those videos if you're, maybe this is the first time through and you're really having trouble with um, trying to figure out how to solve and find percents. Uh, I give a tip in there for using ratios for doing it that I think you'll find helpful. Um, let me just mention here that uh, even though I'm just going to do this one video for this pace, actually I'm going to do a second video about compound interest. But uh, if you get at any point during this pace or you get near the end and you say, boy, I really wish there was a video that explained such and such a concept better, um, would you do me a favor and just go to the Pace Success website and at the top there's a place for contact and just send me a, just send me a short message from there and say I'm on Pace, you know, and tell me the Pace number, the page number, even the problem. And you say I really got stuck on that and I couldn't figure it out and my, you know, parent or teacher, whoever had trouble explaining it. I really wish there was a video to help with that. And that would be helpful for me because I need feedback to know uh, where some other videos in the future might be helpful. All right, so page 1079 might uh, be a good review if you need some help with decimals and percents. But let's dive in here. This is something I think is new at this level in this pre-algebra, and that is um, figuring out interest. And that's somebody calling on my phone, and I'm going to turn them off. There we go. Um, and I'm going to put it on silent. There we go. So let's say we're earning $100, or we have $100 and we put it in a savings account. Now for the last several years, savings accounts have been earning less than 1%. But let's pretend, let's pretend like this savings account was earning 3%. Wow, uh, that would be great. And let's say we're going to put it in for a time of five years, okay? <clears throat> what would the interest earned be? So if you take 100 and you multiply that times 0 0.03, you'll get three, okay? Three dollars. Now that would be, if you had the interest just for one year, you'd earn three dollars for the year by leaving that money in. Um, but then if you multiply that times five years, now you've earned $15 just by leaving that $100 in the savings account earning that interest, okay? Now this can also go the other way. Let's say you are borrowing money from a bank and um, I'm actually looking at something that I might need to borrow some money and let's say I wanted to borrow $1,000 and it's at 6%, okay? And again, let's say it's for five years. So this now becomes 0 0.06. So when I multiply 1,000 times 0 0.06, I'm gonna get $60, and then take the 60 times five would be $300. So to borrow $1,000 and keep it out for five years, and uh, then try to pay it all back at one time, I'm gonna pay back $1,000 and another $300 in interest, okay? So this is a, it's a pretty simple formula for calculating interest. And um, I think they, I think throughout the pace, they always, the principal, that's just the amount you're either borrowing or the amount you're putting into the bank. The rate is a percent, and you always convert that to a decimal. The time is always in years. So let me just point out one other thing here. On some of the problems they're gonna do instead of a whole year, they might say for six months, okay? Well, that would be a half of a year. So then we would multiply times 0.5, you know, or one half. Or 
Sometimes they're going to do quarterly. In fact, on the next video, we'll talk about quarterly interest. Well, quarterly instead of a whole year is 0.25 of a year. Okay, it's a decimal. So you would have to multiply 1,000 times 0 0.06 point times 0 0.25 to see what that interest would be just for those three months. All right, I'm going to stop this video right there. This was really just an introduction to the whole pace. Um, I, I think if you study the examples and uh, read the text carefully, solve the problems after each page or two, stop and score. Don't try to do a whole, whole section all the way up to a checkup and then realize that you made a mistake. Find out, get feedback right away, okay? And then uh, correct your mistakes before you move on to the next page. And I think if you work carefully and accurately, through the pace, by the time you get to the end, you'll do well and, uh, and be confident on the test. All right, I'm gonna do one more video because the last section of this pace is about compound interest and I know sometimes students do find that to be challenging.